Previously on Where's Waldo. A fierce battle with Dark Dragon ensued when the Runefaust army invaded. With the heroics of Max and the Shining Force, Dark Dragon was defeated. The victors returned to their normal lives, vowing for renewed peace. Some disappeared, some left for further adventure, and some returned to their homes and families. And Anne Ri returned to her kingdom as the Queen of Guardiana. With help from Ken, Luke, and Lo, they rebuilt the kingdom from the ashes of the Runefaust invasion. The story begins 20 years after. When Cyprus attacks, most of Guardiana's forces are wiped off, and a young band of heroic children set off as the new Shining Force. They lead an expedition into Cyprus with a mysterious swordsman known as Nick, who eventually turns out to be the Prince of Cyprus, and the evil Waldo was behind all of the invasion of Guardiana. Okay, guys, for serious, though, uh, let me stop this thing from auto-playing here. Hold on just a second. There we go. <laughs> so, before we jump into book two, hi everybody. It's Shining Force CD, book two, with me, Blue Ankylo. Just figured I'd show you the intro one more time. So this is an alternate history, essentially, of what was expected to be the progression from book one to book two. Uh, without boring you with all of the details, suffice to say that my previous emulator, Kega Fusion, could not make real saves of a, sa uh, of a, of a, a Sega CD game, which of course this is. So I had to change emulators to, um, this is called RetroArch, and you have to download plugins for each console. It's not like a specific console emulator, it's a multi-purpose emulator, and you have to download cores for Genesis or uh, Mega Drive, I suppose, if you're European, or, um, you know, Super Nintendo, etc., etc. It does tons and tons and tons. I don't really like it. Uh, it's a pain in the neck to use, and it's super complicated, and I hate the interface. It's not easy, but it works, and it actually has a ton of options, so once you get the hang of it, it's good, but I dislike it immensely at this point. So anyway, I switched over emulators, which hopefully everything looks the same as before. Um, and then I replayed uh, book one again. So that's why we've had such a delay in um, book one let's play to book two let's play. Just to give you a quick overview of what's happened differently this time. Um, basically, my main team is all level 20. And the people I didn't use are not. So I can't remember exactly what I did in our first let's play. Uh, I don't think I got everyone to 20 because the only way you can get to level 20 is if you spend quite a few resets on the final two uh, battles, which I doubt I did on camera. So everyone got to level 20. Uh, I forget exactly my ending recap last time around, but you only learn the level 4 single target mass damage spells at literally level 20 for everyone. And they're kind of garbage anyway, so, you know, blue number 2, so I could keep them separated, is our original Nick with bolt 4 at level 20. Uh, stats are kind of insane. Ruse turned out Super strong, shade through lots of it, uh, but yeah, okay, good archer. Sig, I just used him because he's kind of my backup healer with a ton of HP and pretty good defense. We have Wendy, who's, um, I don't know, not very good, honestly. She learns attack spell at like promoted 17 and blaze 4 at level 20, which is way, way too late to be useful, but you know, attack up is good and stuff. But honestly, the mages in this game are really good early on and then terrible late game, so that's too bad. Apis is probably the best uh, paladin we've had in a very long time. Cray, 
probably the weakest of my healers, but I didn't feel like changing him out. He he hits. He's more like a physical master monk, so that that's how he turned out. I continued to use Claude. I messed up and gave him the running pimento before I promoted him. So then he promoted and lost his plus two movement, which was stupid, and I made it. So that was made me mad. But anyway, he's got the running ring, which is pretty cool. Um, so he's got the extra movement anyway, but he could have had ten movement, and he probably did on my previous let's play. Uh, what else was there? Stock. Uh, Centaur Archer, pretty good. Not quite as much damage as Shade, so he gets he gets the power ring. Mayfair is the Aura Healer. She only learns Aura Four at level twenty, but she levels up as healers do a lot quicker. So, yeah, you could get her to Aura Four by the final battle, but it still took a lot of grinding, honestly. So don't count on it. Yisha, uh, again, kind of like Wendy. Bolt is more damage than Blaze, but it's really expensive, and she doesn't learn Bolt three or four till really, really late. D Soul basically never works. Slow basically never works. I really like having wizards, so I brought the two of them in ode to the old Anri and Tao from Shining Force One, but they are not that great, especially late game. Guyan, I didn't level up to twenty because he's pretty trash, honestly. I'm not a fan of Guyan. Five movement. Um, Pretty poor attack with no weapon and defense only average. Domingo, I didn't use either. He could have learned Freeze 4, probably at level 20. Uh, and also, I think he gets Bolt 3 eventually, whatever. He's got terrible stats in this game, so it's not worth it. Kashing, almost as good as Apis. Not quite. A little bit old. And Gates, I didn't really use much. He's like a poor um, Roos, or whatever his name was. A poorer... Yeah, Roos. Yeah. Uh, this time around, the kid is better than the old man. We've got Shriek. I never used at all because terrible defense. Even in the first battle she joined, died, dead immediately. Randolph is our replacement old man paladin. Seems worse than the other two, and that's everybody. So I just figured I'd give you a quick recap because we're going to import these characters later on, and I'm not going to go over them again. So that was that. For story recap purposes, um, well, oh, press the wrong one. Hold on. This one. So, story recap. Blue, or Nick, gathered up his Shining Force. It was uncovered that he was actually the Prince of Cyprus. And mm, there was kind of a coup that killed off his father. And uh, Waldo, who turned into a giant scorpion, uh, has stung Blue and turned his arm to stone during our fight. And Luke, of renowned Shining Force 1 fame... Uh, or Lug, as they un they translated him incorrectly, brought the sort of Haya or Haya, how you doing, to Blue, and now we're gonna slay the Scorpion. Uh, there's nothing else super important that's happened uh, that you need to catch up with. So we have questionable attack power, and Scorpion's gonna go down. He he takes half damage from all your level four magic, so that stuff's garbage. The laser sword, you know, it does pretty well. Also, in case you're wondering, any level ups past level twenty give you zero stats. So getting to level 21 gives you absolutely nothing. Anyway, we did the ending. Scorpion dies. Everyone goes back to Guardiana. Um, Nick or Blue kind of injured. Cyprus and Guardiana, essentially an ally now. We discovered somewhere during the course of this game that the Empire of Iom, I-O-M, is the actual invading force. And behind the resurrection of the Demon Lord Yom, which is probably related to Dark Dragon and Zeon. And the um, the Sword of Haya is the only thing to defeat him. Anyway, hopefully, I, I already spent like 10 minutes doing the recap. The main thing is, now that we've got a f clear save, basically, we, uh, we can continue without losing any progress. And we will eventually be able to unlock... Um, book three and four, which I was not going to be able to do without changing emulators. So anyway, that's sort of your bare bones recap. I've set up some new character slides on the left. Hopefully they're a little bit more legible for you guys to read along some new characters. And uh, we got ourselves a new game. So we're going to see, you can, you can see we've saved Blue Hero. We're just going to save on the cartridge. We're going to start the Evil God Awakes. I believe we can import book one into book two as well. Although I'll see here in just a second. Oh, we also have to rename our hero. So there's a new hero. Um, I guess we'll just go with the default time this time around. Because we've already got a blue or two. So Nick and Dien are the two protagonists. This is a sequel. There we go. So we import it. 
All right, so she already knows some of the characters. Oh, also, when I replayed it, I played it on easy, which was super easy. Holy smokes, don't play it on easy, guys. Easy is too easy. Um, from what I can tell, the difficulty changes a modifier for the enemy's attack power. I'm not sure how much. It might be like minus 25, 100%, like 75% strength, 100% strength, 125, 150. I think we played the first one on hard, which is probably fine. I'm not going to go super hard because whatever. I've never played this game before. But in uh, Shining Force 2, super hard was bugged and didn't work. Whereas hard gave enemies, I think it was plus 50% attack uh, before they're counting their weapons. So we're going to go like that. You must be quite brave. Go for it. Hopefully I picked hard last time. But anyway, I did decide easy was too easy. So the kingdoms, Guardiana and Cyprus, have joined their armies to battle the evil Yom. And then some evil clown man is here. Will thou offer a human sacrifice to Yom? To Yom, our evil ruler, our, your servant, Warderer. He's got a terrible name. Offers you the blood of royalty. Accept my offer. No, stop. I'm still the king. I'll not stand for this. I demand that you release me at once. Quiet, you disgust me. Yom deserves royal blood. You'll become one with our deity. You ought to be grateful. Oh, truly evil Prince of Darkness, accept our sacrifice. Hey, this treasure. Stop, spare me, stop. Right into the lava. Barbara, update me on the latest information you have on Cyprus. Things are going according to plan. They're marching towards Yom, unaware of the trap we set. They think they can triumph over us. What misguided fools. What about the Guardiana army? Don't worry about them. By the time they're ready to march, the Cyprus army will already be on their way. Very good news, Barbara. Do you have anything to add, Solo? Uh, sir, the fort on the Algam Plains is close to completion. We're also surrounded the fort with traps. All we must do is to wait for the Cypress Army. Hmm. Good work, Solo. Now, all we need is the Sword of Haya. How shall we do that? Get it. Something. Hmm. Gordon? Where is Gordon? Ah, you summoned me, sir. I'm at your service. Gordon, you know Prince Blue Number 2 of Cyprus better than any of us. Will the prince lead his army even without the support of the Guardian? Uh, not to worry, sir. He is a man of honor. Even if his right hand has turned to stone, he'll come. Since his right hand is useless, would he bring his sword? Gordon, here are your orders. After the, sacri after the Cyprus army leaves the castle, raid it and bring me the Sword of Hyre. Sir, as you wish. He disappeared. Barbara, Solo, go with him. Yes, sir. So much warping. Sir? By the way, Hindle, accept my condolences. Sir. I heard that your younger brother died at the hands of a lowly swordsman. It couldn't be helped. The law of the land states, if one is unable to protect oneself, one deserves to die. You're absolutely correct about that. Just remember that power is the key. Power is what we need the most. More power! <laughs> so... The translations of names continues to be terrible in this game. It's something about the localization team, I assume. Today, Prince Blue 2 and the Cypress Army begin their long march to Yom in order to preserve peace. Hurrah! Hurrah! Nick? We'll just call him Nick. It's his real name. If you are ready! Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Mayfair, you're in charge while I'm gone. He's, he's had a promotion. He's a prince now. You can count on me. The castle will be well protected during your absence. Ha! <laughs> yeah, right. Gaia, and take care of the prince. Look after yourself. Okay? Well, thanks. Now I'll be careful. 
We must succeed. I like his new armor, though. Pretty cool. In order to achieve true peace, there is no other way. Hurrah! Hurrah! Lower the drawbridge. His arm doesn't really look like it's been turned to stone right now. Maybe they just tied it up with some string so it looks like he's holding a sword. Uh, Natasha, what's wrong? Nick, come quickly. We heard some screams coming from the cliffs and when we arrived... This young man was lying there unconscious. Hmm. Is he hurt? Bring him to the castle and tend his wounds. No, I'll take him. Ah, oh, Prince Blue. I guess it's time for you to leave. Yes, I'm leaving. Don't be so glum. This battle was unavoidable and it is for the good of Cyrus. Take care of things while I'm away. Oh, good. So we went off with all of our forces and left the castle defenseless. So anyway, there's Natasha. She'll be more important in book two. Don't worry, I'll take care of everything. She is, in fact, our first Shining Force leader that's a mage and not just a swordsman with bolt. The prince and his party will be fine. They're stronger than you think. They will be back victorious. Yeah, I'm sure they will. Nothing could possibly go wrong. And thus, Prince Blue II defeated the Iom forces and returned victorious. I mean, Prince Blue Number 2 and the Cypress Army began their journey to Iom. Doing a lot of guard duty today. Is everyone at their posts? You could be on the walls, not just walking around by the moat. Natasha, are you alright? I'm worried about you. You've been doing double guard duty lately. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I've seen you and Deanna talking occasionally. You appear to be the only one he talks to. Can you keep him near you and be his friend? Deanna's the boy that was rescued. Sure. Eric, what a surprise! You're not fooling around today! What do you mean? I always pay full attention when I'm on duty. Just remember, be alert and no fooling around. Relax, she's gone. Guard duty is such a bore. Yeah, we should have gone with the prince into battle. Hey, Deanna, come on over here! What? Don't tempt him. You're not a good influence. Unlike you, Deanna is taking his guard duty seriously. Leave us alone, Don. We're only having some fun. I knew it! You've left your post. Despicable! Relax. Nothing's gonna happen anyway. And then the Fire Nation attacks. <laughs> Look, it's the enemy! Apparently they know how to break walls pretty effectively. The enemy, everyone to their posts! Alright, battle number one. Let's have a quick look at our characters, and then we will fight! Well, first off, let's look at the enemies. We've got some goblins, you know. we got some scavenger ratmens. We got Dragon Newt, I suppose it's supposed to be. Maybe not spelled correctly. With the magic spell. Okay. Might be the boss. Probably the boss. Oh, I should have a look at... I do have my guide open so I don't miss any secret items. So hold on just a second. Oh, I didn't expect it to uh, go black. But anyway. So we've got a, a backup. Yeah, there's no items on this map as far as I know. So we should be okay. So, our Lord, Mage Natasha, has the Aggress spell and the Blaze spell. Unfortunately, it means you can't really aggress and use Blaze uh, if, like, you run out of MP, which is kind of weird, but, you know, maybe we'll get some, uh, what are they called? Whatever the wings are, let you escape battle. 
but yeah, this is a weird one because if she dies, we lose. And um, a mage leader with, with magic and egress. It's kind of interesting. I've never seen it before. Uh, what else do we have? We've got... The Monk Luke. I don't know why this, the Gaiden games give us so many monks. I'm not a huge fan of monk healers, but anyway, there's Luke. Ah, uh, yes, and all of the characters, almost all of them, have reused names from Shining Force 1 or 2. Uh, Deanna, luckily, is not... Oh, he also has Egress, so that's convenient, at least. So for now, Natasha can use her blaze. Uh, Deanna will be your classic swordman uh, lord, although... I think Natasha is technically in charge. Uh, we have Jaha, the warrior dwarf with a pothead. That's great. We have Dawn the Knight with a spear. Okay. And Eric the Knight. So right off the bat, yeah, two two knights with long movement. That's pretty sweet, pretty good. Let's just get on out there and see how we do. Seeing as we have range two attacks. Man, I've missed these animations. Shining Force animations were always so good. Ooh, you can get a lot of experience here just doing damage. So I won't be planning on doing any, uh, just like, just like normal. I'm not going to plan on doing any extreme grinding or anything by using aggress to reset. Critical hit, 7 damage. Oh, there's an option I forgot to change. We can change the, uh, tech speed a little bit. But yes, these games could be made a lot easier by, um, sort of grinding some levels. Oh, I was hoping I could move one more person before. Whew, critical hit, seven damage on Natasha. Hello, Shining Force. But yes, we're gonna try not to do that unless it's an emergency. Um, so just in case you're wondering, agility six, agility six, agility four, agility four. I guess it makes sense if I pay attention to agility that the uh, rat man probably would have gone before Natasha. That's okay. Ooh, Deanna has got some pretty cool combat sprites. A combat sprite. I like that. I like the new ones that aren't just copies of older games. Anyway, this gets uh, Luke a little bit of healing. Although I believe in this game, you get uh, 10 experience per heal, regardless of if it recovers any HP. So it doesn't matter. Also, the fact that Luke can only heal twice per battle is really garbage. Like, that's terrible. Alright, and then Jaha can't get into range, so let's move down. So, uh, there's land effect there. I don't know if it works very well in this game, but theoretically standing on the grass will give us damage reduction as well as sometimes a movement penalty. This probably won't kill. I think it's 50-50, 6 or 7 damage, but we'll see. It's almost always 6. It's probably not 50-50, but... I think blazes can do more than six. I don't know. Sometimes the damage numbers are a little weird. Uh, I'm gonna kill the rat man. How much defense are we looking at here? Six defense versus... Oh, it's the same defense. Interesting. So if Dawn got crit, she'd take the same amount of damage as Natasha. There's only two goblins over here. She should be fine. I kind of just want to save the rat man for someone who's not able to run over here and kill a goblin, basically. But it probably means the rat man will get an attack. Like, I could kill the rat man and prevent him from attacking. Ah, no, this will work. Well, Deanna. While we're preventing enemy attacks, we can kill this goblin. Good job, kid. All right, we actually can, assuming we don't miss, knock on wood. Enemy dodge rates are always frustrating in these games. Um, flyers tend to have higher dodge rates than uh, ground units, so hopefully we won't see too many. Although all things considered, even on hard mode, first battle seems pretty easy. So do we have healing herbs available? Yeah, we got two. So you can heal twice, and then you've got two extra medical herbs for sort of emergencies. The AI enemies do tend to focus on your heroes, your swordsman hero. Oh, counterattack. Our first, other than the enemy crit, our first sort of special. 
relatively low percent odds of that happening. Let's see what our tanky warrior can do. All right, he's already got tons of defense. Glad to see it. We do need to watch out for the enemy, um, the enemy mage. J Jaha, <laughs> funny, same, same. Jaha from Shining Force 2, of course, was a war our first warrior dwarf as well. But um, yeah, interesting. Oh man, Luke, that's not very impressive. Might be enough damage for Natasha to get the kill. All right, Deanna can finish this guy off. Well, I say that. No. Oh, I keep forgetting to change the attack speed. All right, MP up, attack up, defense up by two, and quickness up by one. No HP, sadly. Let me, uh, before I forget, uh, speed faster. You can, you can turn display completely off and it goes way faster, but I like to know what kind of experience and damage we're doing. Uh, you can even see a map of the battlefield, but that doesn't matter. All right, we can get Natasha killed. I definitely try to feed the mages the kills early on. With such limited MP, they can have a hard time getting level ups if you don't leave them some targets. They can't, they can't just do, they can only do six damage four times per battle which is a little bit on the low side compared to pretty much anybody else, I suppose. I mean, it's it's damage ignoring, like it's defense ignoring damage. But, you know, Eric just did six damage. Now that he's got a level up, he'll be doing eight damage to goblins. So he's already doing better than a blaze spell with a long range spear. So it's hard to be that impressed with mages in my opinion. I'm gonna go for it. If the boss comes over and blazes him, we should be able to heal him. He did not, so he's probably gonna do less damage than six. Yeah. Good job, Jaha. Tanking the boss. All right, you know what? I was just talking about feeding kills to my, uh, she's like, she's both our first mage and our backup lord or primary lord. So getting her some level ups early will be really good. Level 2 HP, 2 MP, 1 attack, 1 defense, 1 quickness. Good, good level up for mage. Alright, Jaha can take another hit. We might want to heal him up before he gets killed by a blaze spell at this point though. But Let's see, the only person we can really attack... We're gonna block the road, the route to Natasha. No, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it open so that um, Jaha or not Jaha, my my healer, whatever his name is, so he can attack. If because he's not gonna be able to heal up uh, Luke in his current position. All right. So what I'll do instead. The safe bet here is to heal up. The more exciting thing to do is attack and then let uh, my healer heal. Oh, Jaha, you wasted it! Okay, you got an extra attack. Okay, well, if you hadn't missed, you would have killed him. But I will give you that <laughs> at least you had a good, good backup strategy. All right, this worked out really well. Good turn order on Luke. He would not have done enough damage to kill the, uh, the dragon nude, I don't think. We're going for another physical rather than the magic. I don't know what the AI's priority is. Surely Jaha has enough physical defense, though, that that should be a bad idea. Similarly, they didn't go for our squishy mage. They went for Dawn instead, so... Who knows? Actually, <laughs> our squishy mage might have more defense there. Defense 7 versus Dawn 6. Yeah, I mean, I guess that sort of makes sense. All right, unless this, this guy might resist fire... Uh, if so, we'll do less than six, but luckily, early game, the enemy's not resistant. Alright, uh, for the purposes, generally speaking, I would say early game healers, medical herbs cost like 10 gold or something. It's probably worth it to keep feeding your healer experience. Um, because he's going to have a really hard time leveling up. He's going to need 10 or so casts of heal one or uses of medical herbs to get a level up. And, um, 
I'm just gonna block him in here, I guess. Uh, that's just gonna take a really long time. At two heal spells per battle, right? If we don't do aggressing to restart the battle, he'll never really, um, he'll never really level up at all. Unless we, like, leave an enemy with one HP and let him just smack him with a stick. Anyway, that looks like our first battle. And we got a couple of medical herbs out of it. You do have to be careful in this game. Um, if your character's inventory is full and you kill an enemy that can drop an item, it's just gone forever. So that's kind of rough. If you got to pay attention to that in the future. Ah, thief! The sword of Haya has been stolen. It must be the work of Yom. Graham took a fighting stance with the sword of Haya. Wait a second. He's a centaur with a bow. How could he use the sword? To... I didn't know the sword could do that. Look, there's the thief after him. Well, that was unfortunate. I'll get him. They all tripped. Are you kidding me? <laughs> they really are terrible guards. He just jumped off a cliff. Oh man, this guy breaks a wall, jumps off a cliff. Look, there he is! Rats, they're after me. Dwarf! Yeah. A Cypress Battalion? Graham, you idiot, you've been followed. Go on ahead, leave this to me. Yes, I'll go on ahead. Hurry, everyone, get that man! Oh, good, we have legs of steel as well. Uh-huh. Well, you can tell who the uh, comic relief is this time around. It's Jaha, again! Wait a moment. If you're after Graham, I'm afraid you're out of luck. I'm afraid I can't let you go any further. My faithful followers attack! Even though we just cut through their previous reinforcements like butter. We're gonna end this episode here though, because we can't do more than one battle per episode. Let's see where Egress takes us. Just like the first one. So from here, we'll be able to uh, re re we'll be able to add or remove members, promote them, resurrect them, talk to them, which we might do next episode. And uh, eventually there will be shops here. So unlike you know the good shining forces there's no town exploration we just got a little a little mini map a little mini menu kind of like this kind of reminds me of um the very first shining game the uh the not srpg what was it uh the name eludes me right now but it was on the, the genesis as well i believe it was um more of a dungeon crawler than a shining force strategy rpg anyway that's our our first episode so thanks for watching folks i hope you have enjoyed um yeah, I think this is going to be fun. I do like this game. I think it's it's pretty easy. Uh, I'm playing this in, in my timeline right after playing through a lot of Fire Emblem. And Fire Emblem tends to be, you know, a similar type of game, but a lot more, I don't know, more puzzly, more thinky. You've got to do some math. Shining Force, ah, it's a lot more casual. It's kind of more relaxing to play for me. So I'm going to enjoy this. It's also a fairly short game, so this shouldn't take us too long. So anyway, hopefully you guys are excited as well as I. And I will see you next time for the next, for battle number two in book two of Shining Force CD or Gaiden 2. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and see you next time.